Welcome back to Dream and Does Gaming. Dream and here playing more Symphony of War and a film saga. Getting right into it, chapter 29, Zenith of the World. Let's get at it. I didn't make any changes since our last game, so we are just going to go and deploy to the next mission. Where is everyone else? Beatrix. This is not supposed to happen. I should say so. How about that? All for Nephilim, trapped. Wherever this is, all by our lonesome. Don't despair yet, there are several entry points in this tower. It is possible that the others are scattered in the area. Can't say for sure, darlings. Seems we have no choice. Let's get on with it. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. Draymond. Lysander. I wondered how long it would take for you to do something like this. Can't let you take the Light Fury. You may be unleashing the end of times upon the world. What exactly do you think this is all about? You think I have some sinister plan? You know Phil have always been answering his call. That voice you keep hearing, that is Xanatus. The power that courses through your weapons and the Light Fury, they gain their powers as they became awash in the blood of the Dark God. Casimir is dead, you've won the war, and the world is already yours. You need but relish in your victory, but people still desire you, the hero of our time. You know how I feel about prophecy. Following it so far has been the right thing. How do you know it isn't your actions that would result in some Armageddon? <clears throat> I'm sorry, Lysander, I won't be leaving. Your unchecked ambition cannot be ignored forever. Everyone else might be scared of you, but someone must take a stand. Hmm. What do you think? I made it myself. You won't be able to move for a while. Then we will be able to deal with you without unnecessary risk. Aren't you impressed, Beatrix? I'm so sorry, Draymond. You're under the spell of evil. Draymond, I'm so sorry this is happening so fast. They told me you'll be okay. I'll be there for you when this is all over. Abby. Ready your weapons, Nephilim. The cult will have no mercy for us. It can't be. What are you waiting for? I've broken your spell. Fight by my side. Interesting. Zenith of the world. Um. Jebediah. Frederick. Assuming we have to get all the way. Holy moly. All the way up there, Lysander's by himself, Walter, Ethel, Kuroda, Rick, Nancy, Leilani, okay. It's really more so looking at, <laughs> are there people I care about and do we have to kill them? Um, mission info, defeat Lysander, okay, seems straightforward. Um... Guess we just do this. Alright. Yep. 
Yeah, I see that coming. The hand of Xanatus, okay. Alright. Blade Master Armor. So you chose to remain a slave. Pathetic. Beatrix, my love! You will see me again in the next life. Beatrix, my love? Oh, to be him, poor little Jeb, and desire that which he could never have. I believe we have done him a favor by sending him to the void. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Alright. Okay. I think we send Draymond over here to this guy. There we go. I guess that's that. Okay, I don't really want to kill off Kuroda though, then, if that's the case. That's really who you attack? You attack her? Okay. Stefan can come down here. I know these guys can probably reach us all. No, we don't need to do anything there. Let's just get everybody forward. And there we go. And here, one second. Well, that could have been extremely bad. <laughs> oh, Alright. Um, Beatrix, get over here. Stefan, get over here. just go up. We are going to heal ourselves because that seems like a very good thing to do. I love this part. Wait. Oh, I see. So we'll have to take that and it'll probably maybe put us like here or something. Okay. Now hopefully everyone else can... Oh no, no one else is going to be able to reach it, are they? Okay. Um, this is not like the scenario that I was thinking that we would be doing. <laughs> Okay, so if we go into that middle, okay. Oh, oh. That was not where I was thinking we would be going. Okay. Because I don't really want to fight Kuroda. Can we just... Hmm. Can we get, like, some of you guys... Hmm. Power. We might be able to teleport someone over there. Weight. Power. 
Yeah, we could. Perfect. Wait. Wait. Honestly, I think that's all I want to do. Yeah. I don't really want to fight Kuroda. I'd like to keep him alive. So it's like, can you guys go defeat Lysander? Probably. I'll just bring everybody else like as close as we can in case we need to get up there. I'd like to keep Kuroda because he's actually been nice. I don't want to just kill him because we can, right? It's like, this is a very interesting battle that we're doing. I don't know if I overly, in, <laughs> overly like this. Will Lysander come and attack us here? No, okay. All right, well, you'll get no more fight from me, Draymond. Okay, that's the whole chapter. That's it. Another proof of merit, okay. That was underwhelming. Stay here. I will deal with the Grandmaster myself. Come on. I know who you are. Why are you doing all of this? I'm not going to just let you go in alone. This power comes from a source outside of what you can comprehend. You must leave this to me. You would surely die. Don't let that happen, Draymond. You spared the Nephilim. This is a very disappointing hand to Xanatus. We were nearly there, so close to ending our struggle. I feel utterly betrayed. There's no need for pretense anymore. I learned all I need to know. All of your knowledge of the past. It is because you were there. You've been here since Donar first defeated you in battle. Now you've amassed incredible influence. But that's not enough, is it? What do you want? Indeed, it seems we've exceeded the need for pretense, and I've created something I can no longer control. If you must know, after that battle with Donar, I was forced to remain feeble, hiding, taking full advantage of the pity and mercy of the victors. But gradually, my people found our way into the Denari Halls of Power, that we may finally emerge from the shadows, and now we are fully self-determined. No one will humiliate us again. We've enlightened great masses of Donari and cured them of their misguided loyalty to the false gods. You and the avatar of Donar and that imbecile Casimir all fight within the confines of a human lifetime. Petty concerns, these empires and alliances. The greatest struggle of this world is mine to liberate all of Tanra from the stranglehold of Donar, the greatest deceiver in all creation. Great warrior, it is not about what I want, it's about what should be. You know there's no way I can just sit here and wait. I've got to do something. What? Why? Why would you do that? I told you to stay back. Seemed like a very... Not very smart thing again. 
We meet again, Avatar of Donar, or Draymond, or however you identify these days. You do know that there's truly nothing special about you, I hope. Perhaps instead, in your limited understanding of things, you've assigned prophecies that to that which you cannot explain. I suppose it is commendable that you, Draymond, have simply made yourself a, into a suitable replica for an ancient legend. You and your fellow Nephilim um, were the hosts for the divine refuges that are the false gods. But perhaps you know that already. Ever the skeptic, this one. This is a shame, I admit. You, Donari, this great human experiment, quite the centerpiece of Tanra. A grand and ultimately brittle manifestation of Donar's meddling. No matter, in the new world, these silly identities and histories, Viridian, Seiruni, what have you, there's no such room for such deli delineations in this world's future. Those who try to cling to ignorance will simply go extinct, I suppose. As for you, Draymond, I'm afraid your journey has come to an end. Rest assured, your death will be permanent this time, and will signal the greatest victory against Donar yet, and a harbinger for a new, enlightened age. Ah, being torn apart. Interesting. Ah, he stabbed himself. Okay. You crazy fool, some things never change. <laughs> Zelos, yep. Raymond, where is he? Well, his body disappeared in a spectacular way, whatever that means. Guess I really shook him up. How did you manage to hurt him that way? Blood link. Thought he could keep me in line with it. Didn't think I'd really do it. Did. Zelos. No! Come on, Zelos. Damn. It's still not strong enough. Open! Hurry up! So I'm unleashing the end times, huh? Then I'll carve through the whole damn thing with Light Fury if I have to. Great. You're not leaving me yet, Zelos. Now, yeah, this is interesting. You've got Light Fury. Damn right I do. Huh. I think you know what this means. The barrier between worlds is soon going to shatter and Xanatus will return. What we saw today was just a small projection of the demon's power. And it seems we're going to have to kill Xanatus, huh? Draymond and Zelos back together trying to kill a god. I guess there are worse ways to die. Is it true what he said about the Nephilim? 
If so, I suppose you would make me the fool for believing in fate. You'd like that, wouldn't you? A little bit, yeah. So, my father is... He's gone from this place. He's a tricky one, Draymond. I wouldn't rest easy until you've killed that man a hundred times. I'm sorry, Nephilim. None of the others deserve blame. All of it falls onto me. Lysander. I failed to stop you from completing the prophecy. Do to me what you must, Draymond. Just because you didn't succeed, just because you didn't have the physical force to stop me, it doesn't make you wrong. Here, take the light. Fury, strike me down. I will not fight back. Draymond? I think I've earned it. You saw what happened back in Armitage. Only you had the guts to stand up to me. Now is your chance to put down a monster. I'd sooner fall on the blade myself. Look around you. The sky's already changed. Everything that's happened has led to this, the final invasion of Tanra. Indeed, perhaps this was all meant to be. Just as it was written in the Forbidden Pages, Xanatus has retreated to the Vine Realm beyond the gate at Mount Ptolemy. He must be utterly destroyed before you can fully recover. Now that Draymond has claimed Light Fury, the way to the Divine Realms is open. So too is the way there to our world. Lysander, those who followed him, I felt his power. It is beyond description, he surely is not of this world. It doesn't matter how we feel about each other, it doesn't matter what happened to get us to this point. If we lose, Tanner will be devoured and in darkness forever. We must be whole, at least, for this one last time. There's no greater blight to exist than Xanatus. I will spend my last lifeblood to fight him. Thank you. Donar be with us. Holy. Yeah, save the game. Sora weighs down upon Draymond with the sting of betrayal, but he cannot hold on to the wrath of, for Lysander for those who followed him in a coup against the Nephilim. Indeed, this disturbance of the divine weapons tinged with the blood of Xanatus has awoken the sleeping god, shattering the barriers between worlds. Driven by a burning desire to end the cycle of evil, Draymond, now reunited with Zealous, is determined to destroy Xanatus himself and finally put an end to a millennium-long struggle. Nephilim are, for the first time in a thousand years, reunited and their potentials unlocked. Now the war between human and demon will begin anew. Xanatus's influences has permeated the wor human world, strangled it, shaped it to the desires of those who would exploit it for their own gain. The Dark God himself has yet to truly be defeated or foiled. As the Nephilim begin to realize they are entering hell itself, on their own will, they half they fight to battle their own fear. It's too late to turn back now. Draymond takes one last look at his own world, his own home, accepting that he may never return. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we have um, Zelos in here. No? Yeah, Zelos and Kuroda. Ha ha! Cool, we didn't kill him, so we get him. That's fantastic. Um, so Celis is a... Yeah. We'll want more dragons for him, I guess. Um, two times enemy morale damage from all actions. Wow. Colossal and Guardian, right. Okay. Kuroda... Stealth attack, shadow chaser, plus movement in ambushable terrain and ignore enemy zones of control. And thievery, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Supports, conversations, we're gonna have a lot. All right, Diana and Zelos.
Honored to finally speak to you in the flesh, Paladin. Shame that it has taken this long. I know it doesn't matter anymore, but one of my biggest regrets is not wising up to Xanatus earlier. I just slit Casimir's throat in a heartbeat and put a quick stop to all the child kidnapping nonsense. I'd have preferred to kill you in combat, not destroy your soul by kidnapping your son. Why did you destroy the temple? All I did was expedi the expedite the inevitable. The temple is just another part of an old paradigm, one on life support because people like you. Men like you led down this path of bloodshed, unfortunate. This coming from Diana, the goddess of war, they call you. This mighty paladin who name inspires terror and whose lifetime of crusades has spilt blood that would turn the seas red. I heard how you killed Casimir. Is this how you and your order have always operated? And if so, perhaps you're more honest than I give credit. Or more warped by what you've become. You don't know what I've become. I see it in your eyes. You and I are nothing more than killing machines. We've lost everything else to become what we are. Is all this power worth it? Do those you fight for deserve your sacrifice? But having pursued my convictions as I see fit, and not giving myself a ban to a band of ingrates who will never be able to pay me back their due, my mind is still clear. Soon we will use our power to kill Xanatus, and if there's any justice in this world, everyone will then learn what they've taken from you. Neat. Beatrix, I've got to say, you're different. No more talk of ruling existence and building mile-high statues of yourself. I suppose the idea became boring. I have moved on to more immediate pursuits. Mind if I ask? Pendergast seemed a bit old to be your father. Well, well, flattery will get you everywhere. If you must know, the old man adopted me. I always did have everything money could buy, save for the true love and affection, of course. I've known for some time we simply wanted my divine gift. He would be pleased if I were to kill you now and seek ultimate power for myself, but I can't let him have his way, hmm? Guess we found our answer, darling. No more power-hungry bee tricks because she doesn't want to be her father. Makes sense. Darling, one last thing. Have you thought about how you'll be executing Lysander? May I suggest letting me use him for meteor target practice? Um, no. I'm still thinking about it. You joke about it, but just give me some time. Joke! As if she was not joking about that. Okay, so we have no money, so that's interesting. But we have people that we need to fill out. Lie the salt. So we're probably going to have to sell some stuff or maybe do some of the... Um, uh, what are they called? Another Excalibur would be very nice. Um, arenas, etc. Okay. So, this is going to be interesting. Because now we have Zelos. We've got Abigail. We've got Cloudrender. So we wouldn't be able to make you a flying unit on your own because we don't have enough dragons. Currently I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... 18, 21 things. So we probably need to remove Kuroda as a leader. And add him somewhere, either to Stefan or Raskuja. That'd be cool having him in with Raskuja. Um, right? So, we'll figure that out. And then we need to fill out Zelos's army. Maybe we can just do a whole bunch of horses or some. I don't know. Um, looks like we don't have anyone to upgrade right now either. And then, yeah, then we'll be getting into chapter 30. So more than likely, off camera, I'll just do some arenas um, just to get money change around our army a little bit in preparation for the last one and then just go over those changes after so that's where we're going to end it today 
So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.